I'm an avid supporter of the Macrium Reflect suite of disk imaging and backup softwares. So much so that I use it. I have used it for six years. This is an older version. I happen to prefer it to the newer versions. I don't like the interface of the newer versions. But, uh, you, like me, have probably run into a, some, uh, a little problem. We'll just put it that way. And that is, on your Windows 7 32-bit machines, you have rebooted after an update, and notice this. Oh no. There's a couple things you could do about this. You could do what I have been doing previously, and that is run startup repair, roll back to the most recent restore point, and just never run updates ever again. Or you can do this. Assuming you have created rescue media, that is 32-bit, can't use 64-bit for this. On a CD or on one of these. I think you need a DVD for it. But having said that, Rescue Media and also a program called RemoveSnap.sys RemoveSnap.exe, my apologies, from Macrium's website. website. Yeah, it's about almost 1 o'clock in the morning. can try this method, which should permanently fix it, and you get to have your updates. So I'm going to make sure, hopefully it boots to the right one. It should be booting to that one, not this one. Yeah, it is. It's booting to that. So that's good. You should see to this, at least something similar. So while that's loading, I have a couple questions, actually. I'm a little confused. Because the Macrium folks are pointing their fingers at Microsoft for releasing an update that patched the Spectre and Meltdown vulnerabilities as being the cause of this problem. I'm not sure if that's actually true or not, but it begs the question, why only 32-bit? Oh, here's another question. Why is my back light off? There it goes. Why only 32-bit? Why wouldn't it affect the 64-bit versions? This doesn't seem to affect the 64-bit versions because I've updated those and had no problems. Likewise, why only Windows 7? Why not Windows Vista? Why not Windows 8.1 and 8? Why not Windows 10? It's all the same basic NT kernel. Although Windows 10 tries to mask that a little bit by calling it NT10, it's really only Windows NT 6.4. It makes you wonder, it really does sometimes. So I've gotta wait for that to initialize. And then that'll happen, it'll analyze the disks going to try and find an image, but it won't find any because I don't have any, which is fine. But we want to go into the PE Explorer. PE Explorer. I hate this mouse. It's such a piece of crap. Go to our removable disk that's inserted. Okay, what on earth? I'm double-clicking it. Find the file that we downloaded. Remove snap.sys.exe. I keep calling it .sys. I don't know why. Probably because it's removed snap, it's ps snap that's probably why. Come on. There it goes. I don't know if it actually did something or not. You can try running it again. If it fails, it tells you that it couldn't open it because there's no associated program. You have to open up the command prompt. Open the command prompt. Man, why is it that nothing can work straight up when I'm trying to make a how-to video? Remove snap.exe. Go ahead and run that. And there you go. That's what you should see, or at least something similar to that. So now, you should be able to go in. I'm going to remove this. It's probably going to freak out on me. I'll remove that. We'll push this little power button down here. Close the current environment, and if everything worked like it was supposed to, you can remove that, and then have the system start up, everything will be alright. Well, except for that. There we go. Everything is now working like it's supposed to. Like I said, I'd be really curious to know 
why it's only 32-bit and why it's only Windows 7. Maybe somebody knows. Because I don't. That seemed kind of strange to me. Because it's the same patches. It's the same... Presumably it's the same PS snap dot sys being added to the boot process. Everything's the same. It's the same kernel. But there you can see it did actually work. We'll have our desktop up when it actually comes up. So there it is, just the way that it was before. So that's how you fix the PS snap.sys page fault not page area issue if you happen to be using that reflect. I suppose if you don't want to use their Windows PE environment, you can use pretty much anything that will run an executable. I do not believe you can use another system. No, you can't use another system because it has to touch the registry. So you can't do that unless you want to screw around with all the registry editing commands and all that mess. I don't know about Wine. Perhaps you could run it under Wine. I don't know. I haven't tried it. I don't really feel a need to try it because this works just fine. So there you have it. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments and questions, please do feel free to leave them down below. And this is CP666 signing off. And I'll see you next time. Until